Parkinson's disease. Now, Parkinson's disease is caused by lack of dopamine in the brain. It commonly occurs as you get older. Usually, the patients are above the age of 60. Now, what are the symptoms of Parkinson's disease? So, typically, patients with Parkinson's disease have tremor or tremulousness. And this may start in one hand or one leg and then go on to involve the other side. This tremulousness or tremor typically occurs when you're sitting comfortably and not doing anything. And it can be worsened whenever you're anxious or when you're walking. The other symptom of Parkinson's disease is rigidity or stiffness. So you feel stiff. And this stiffness can occur when you wake up in the morning or it occurs on and off throughout the day or it may appear at night when you are sleeping. The third symptom of Parkinson's disease is slowness. Now what do I mean by slowness? So you have difficulty buttoning your shirt or putting on your trousers or you have difficulty walking that you walk very slow. In addition, you may have lack of facial expression. Your voice may become softer and you may find your handwriting becoming small. You may find that your household chores take much longer to do than usual. You may find it difficult to cut your vegetables and go about your daily life. In addition, you may also have constipation because your bowel movement also slows down. Now, there are certain symptoms of Parkinson's disease which may appear 10 or 20 years before you get this tremor or stiffness or slowing. If you have a loss of sense of smell or a reduction of sense of smell, now this may be a warning sign that you may get Parkinson's disease for 10 or 20 years down the road. So if, for example, you used to be able to smell perfumes, flowers, uh, foodstuffs very well, and now you find it difficult, this may be an early warning sign. The other feature of Parkinson's disease, which may occur 10 or 20 years before, is vivid dreams and dream enactment. So you may have very vivid dreams and you may act out those dreams by talking in your sleep, or by punching into the air, or by falling off the bed. So these features may suggest that you have Parkinson's disease, but you can't determine that when you have these features. 10 or 20 years down the line, you may develop Parkinson's disease. Now, after getting Parkinson's disease or being diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, 10 or 20 years after that, you may find that your memory is slowing down and you have difficulty thinking and processing information. But this memory decline is not immediate. It also takes time. So it's important for you to realize all the manifestations of Parkinson's disease in yourself or your loved ones. So that is, it may start with a loss of sense of smell or vivid dreams where you are acting out your dreams or you are talking in your sleep or falling off the bed and then 10 or 20 years later you may get the stiffness and the shaking and the slowness and 10 years after that you may start having memory problems and difficulty processing and acting on information. Now how do we diagnose Parkinson's disease? We diagnose pa patients with Parkinson's disease when they walk into our clinic or into our office and we examine them. So we examine them for their shakiness, for their stiffness and for their slowness. But thanks to the advances in modern medicine, it is now possible to diagnose Parkinson's disease by doing certain tests. Now what are these tests? So one is a skin biopsy. So it's possible to diagnose Parkinson's disease by doing a skin biopsy. And this skin biopsy is done in three sites, 
it's done in the shoulder, it's done in the thigh and it's done in the lower leg. And by looking for a substance called alpha synuclein in the skin, we can determine if you have Parkinson's disease. The other way to diagnose Parkinson's disease is by doing a scan called a dopamine transporter scan. So by doing a skin biopsy or a dopamine transporter scan, we will be able to diagnose Parkinson's disease. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.